Hi, I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on kinematics. We are working with few applications of calculus. The question here is, the displacement x in meters of a particle from a fixed point O on the line it is traveling is given by x equals to 6t minus t square. Sketch the displacement time graph. With the help of this graph, find the total distance traveled in the first 6 seconds. Part B. Find V in terms of T and sketch the velocity time graph. C. Is the particle accelerating or deaccelerating? Is it doing so uniformly? So these are the three parts of the question. I would like you to pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now let's begin with what is given to us, that is displacement x equals to 6t minus t square. Now I could write x as equal to, we can take t common, so we get 6 minus t. Now that is a parabola which can be sketched. So first part is to sketch displacement time graph. So let's do that first. So okay, so let's sketch it here. It is a parabola which opens downwards and uh, let us say, let me sketch this. We'll figure out the values later. Okay. So the zeros are at 0 and at 6, right? So this equation will be 0 at 0 or at 6. So we have time t in seconds and here we have x in meters. Now the maximum value will be right in the middle. So that will be the value at t equals to 3. Axis of symmetry for this par particular parabola, right? So let's find x for t equals to 3. So at t equals to 3, x is equal to, we'll substitute 3 here, 3 times, I mean 6 minus 3, which is 3. So that gives us 9. Units are in meters, so 9 meters. So we get this value as 9 meters. Perfect. Now, with the help of this graph, find total distance traveled in the first 6 seconds. So time 6 seconds is right there. What is the distance traveled? Well, if you look at the particle, it's moving along a straight line. So it basically goes up, I mean, away, we'll say, 9 units and then comes down the same distance. Do you understand? So the distance traveled in the first 6 seconds is 9 plus 9, which is 18 meters. Clear? So that is how, from the graph, you can get it. So this is distance time graph. Now let's look into part B. Find V in terms of T and sketch velocity time graph. Okay, so to find V, I have to differentiate the displacement function. So V, let's say V of T is dx dt, right? Which is equal to derivative of 6t minus t square, which is 6 minus 2t. Perfect. Now, from here, we can actually sketch the velocity time graph. We see it is linear with a slope of minus 2. That means it's kind of going downwards. Do you see that part? Right. So, so the velocity time graph can be sketched from here, and we can get the values for different values of t. So if t equals to 0, I get v of 0 as equal to 6, right? 6 meters per second. And at t equals to 3, it is 0. So, so velocity at 3 is equal to 0. And what is the velocity at 6? If I substitute 6 here, I get 6 minus 12, which is minus 6 meters per second. Correct? Now, we definitely have a different scale for velocity. So, we'll have velocity in meters per second. But time, we can keep it in seconds. So just to make it more interesting and useful, I will uh, show the velocity time graph on the same graph. 
So let us say it is kind of like this. Uh, it goes through this zero and here it is like this. So it is 6 meters per second and it goes up to minus 6. So that becomes the velocity time graph. Do you see that? In a different color. Perfect. So that is how you get your velocity time graph. It is derivative of displacement. Now part C here is is the particle accelerating or deaccelerating? Is it doing so uniformly? So to find that, we need to find acceleration, right? So acceleration is dv dt, so which you get here as minus 2. So we get that the acceleration is constant, right? So it is doing it uniformly. So it is doing so uniformly. It is minus 2, that means it is deaccelerating, correct? So we get our answer, which is deaccelerating at the rate of minus 2 meters per second square. So that means it is also constant, correct? So if I have to sketch on the same graph, it could be a line which is like this, correct? At A, equals to minus 2 meters per second square. So the y-axis I have used for velocity and acceleration also along with displacement. So the units are different, the scale will be different for y-axis, but that is how you could show it on the same axis. So I hope that makes sense, right? So acceleration is always negative as shown here, correct? Now here is a question for you. That is to say, when is particle speeding? So the question for you is, D, when is it speeding? You can write in comments the answer of this particular question, right? In this interval from 0 to 6, when is the particle speeding? I hope you find it interesting and useful. In the next example, we'll take up case for speeding also. Feel free to write your comments and share your views, and I hope you like and appreciate it. If you really like and subscribe to my videos, that'll be great. Thanks for watching, and all the best.